Hi people, it's Sarkovist here, and today I'm going to be talking about the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Beta. There's quite a lot to unpack about this, and I've only got about 10 minutes, so let's go straight for the throat, the minimap, should we have it in this game. The original intention of the developers was to remove the minimap from the top left, at least by default, so that it forced you to rely on your senses, your enemies in terms of what you can see and what you can hear rather than just looking for a red dot and moving towards it. And uh, the counter argument that has emerged over this is that it uh, overly promotes camping because it means that if someone finds a power position and goes into a dark corner they can hide there and shoot with impunity and aren't likely to get tracked down. Uh, my personal observation is that camping actually isn't as big of a deal as people are making it out to be in this game because most of the power positions have multiple flanking routes and hey there have been times where I've really tried to entrench myself so that I can't be attacked from uh, multiple angles but it's really hard to do so. When it comes down to grenades and stuns, flashbangs, if you're hiding in a corner, remember you're going to be appearing on the compass so you're not going to be invisible. Uh, you can be tracked down and killed. So my opinion was that camping is actually not too big of a deal in this game. Of course, it really does come down to your definition of camping. For some people, defending a point in domination, as I'm doing this gameplay, would count as camping because I'm not running around looking for kills like a madman, um, which I'm very much against branding as that because the point in domination is to take flags and then defend them, right? Uh, but then I also really don't like that proper old school camping where, say, it's a team deathmatch mode or, or it's domination, right, where you make no attempt to capture flags and you just stay at the back of the map and you just shoot people as they go past and make sure you're right in the corner so there's no way you can get flanked, but you're not actually contributing to the team as a result. For me, that's what really makes uh, a camping bad is when it's coming at the expense not just of the enemy team and how fair confrontations are, but also it's coming at the expense of your own team because you're not contributing um, to the objective. So that's why I do kind of like Domination because if you try and do proper, true, old school camping in Domination, your team's gonna lose, right? So it really promotes you to, to be active in that. In Team Deathmatch, I feel like there aren't enough incentives to get you moving. Uh, and so, I don't think the game is camp heavy by my definition of camping. I think it just requires you to anticipate where enemies might come from and sometimes hunker down and wait for them because it's just simply the smarter move, particularly when you're in a defensive scenario, right? And as a result, I could live without the minimap, particularly as they have, as of this point in time, as of me making this video for the PlayStation 4 version, they have actually brought it back. However, you don't track enemy gunfire, which means if someone shoots on the minimap, they don't actually appear, which sort of just brings it back in a token sense. So the only two benefits you get from the minimap are the fact that uh, you can see your teammates more clearly, especially if they're behind you, but also you get a basic layout of the surrounding area, which, yeah, there's a little bit of a benefit to that, especially if you're new to the map. And as a result, my opinion on the minimap is I'm truly, I can take it or leave it because I haven't found the reintroduction of it, at least how they brought it back, to be transformative to the way I play the game. So I can live without it and I absolutely encourage them to take a few risks with this game. Uh, you know, you have got different camps, right, in terms of approaching this. There are people who are 100% purists who, and this seems to be the most common thing, who basically just want Modern Warfare 2 again. Uh, I've noticed that is the most prevailing opinion, they just want Modern Warfare 2 again. It's fine, Modern Warfare 2 is a great game, uh, but my opinion is I want something new, I want this to evolve, I don't just want us to be constantly calling back to the past. It's almost bad enough that the game is simply called Modern Warfare, <laughs> you know, and it's going to use very similar characters in the campaign. Can we at least get some new gameplay, right, on, in, on top of the new engine? So my opinion on the minimap is take it or leave it, but I promote innovation. So I suppose if you want to pin me down on it, I am for it being left out for now. Give it a bit longer. Uh, and what I will certainly say for people who are going to be playing on the Xbox One and the PC, they need to have a chance to evaluate it for themselves when they're actually playing the game. It, 
a lot of people are evaluating the minimap's worth without playing um, this early access. Uh, trust me, the, the theory of not having a minimap versus reality are two very different things. So, um, definitely, if you can get into this early access, I would strongly encourage you to do it. Another thing I wanted to talk about was the engine, because that's what pretty much got me hyped for this game through and through. That is the reason I'm excited for it, because they're actually overhauling the ancient engine they've been using for such a long time with Call of Duty games. And it does give it a different feel, which is nice and fresh and fantastic. Um, but I did notice on PlayStation 4 Pro that... And also, please don't use my footage to judge this because I'm using I'm being cheap here. I'm using the PlayStation 4 to share functionality. It's capping it to 1080p30. But in terms of what I can see normally, right, uh, it's quite blurry looking. I think I'd use the word soft to describe the overall visual presentation. And the frame rate isn't a perfect 60. It is much better than the alpha. I don't think enough people appreciate that. It is significantly better than the alpha, but it is not on the level of your typical COD multiplayer experience. So there's a little bit more work to do there. But I, I have to admit the image is quite soft. However, of course, the greatest benefit is the overall underlying visual fidelity is up. Especially lighting, I found the lighting and shadows. Shadows were impressively uh, well rendered, even from a distance. So for example, if you see a ladder and ladders will cast finer shadows when you hit the rung, I was amazed at how right, uh, high resolution sorry, the shadows were. So the underlying tech here is great and if you're someone, let's say you're someone who owns a uh, PS4 Pro and you use a 1080p screen, there are plenty of people who do that, this will be an upgrade through and through to you. I think it's more uh, maybe sort of a side grade if you will, if you have a 4K screen because you might think that the game, say compared to Black Ops 4, has gotten a bit blurrier even if again the underlying visual fidelity has improved. Another thing would be the kill streaks. so You've got personal radar, which brings up the minimap. Uh, you've got UAV that we can use as chopper gunner, which I've not got to yet because I am not good at this. <laughs> I will, I'll be frank with you guys. You might see it. I am not great at this. And then you've also got the cruise missile, which are very reminiscent of the old school Predator missile. And I love the cruise missiles animation uh, for when you summon it. It does take a while, and I don't know how I feel about that, because when you're actually using it, of course, it means you are vulnerable for longer, and therefore it is a negative in terms of practical use. But it does balance out the kill streak a little bit, because I found it to have an extremely wide blast radius. It can get people inside of buildings, things you wouldn't expect for things like hailstorms and predator missiles. It's quite a strong attack. So I can appreciate they may have wanted to have balanced it out a bit, especially if you're using Hardline and it barely takes any kills. I think it's four kills in a row to get a cruise missile. But yeah, again, the, the, the animation is quite fancy. I do quite like it. It uses this uh, bokeh blur effect as the missile casing comes through and it detaches and then it wobbles a little bit in the air and then fires forward. I do get a cruise missile towards the end of this game. Uh, thankfully, I wasn't getting many kill streaks in this game at all. Uh, but my final point I want to bring up is that this game, if I was to describe it in one word, be brutal. I have, <laughs> I will admit it, I will fully admit it here, I have raged at this game. The time to kill I think is so low that although it makes it deeply satisfying to kill people, it also conversely makes it extremely frustrating to die because, especially if you're caught slightly off guard, there are many situations where like I just did not have time to react to that. There was nothing I could do to retaliate, right? So therefore, I've realized that positioning, and I should say more uh, critically there, uh, pre-engagement positioning is absolutely key to uh, success in this game. You want to make sure that you're standing behind cover whenever you can, mantle when appropriate, and only run around a corner if you're certain no one's there because the amount of times I've just run past a corner and got shot to pieces is countless and shot in the back a lot as well. I get shot in the back a lot. Not much I can do about that and it's always been a thing in Call of Duty but I'm getting shot in the back a lot in this game. Like my back is just full of bullets right all the time. It's crazy. But fundamentally I like what they have done with Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I am a proponent of the innovation. It's unfortunate 
that we've seen further evidence of, of you know supply drops but i've in some of my more recent videos i've highlighted that i knew that's going to happen but i'm i'm just focusing on the gameplay for now uh, if you can if you've got some time to play the game i would recommend doing it it's pretty fun yeah uh that's what i have to say on the call of duty modern warfare beta as always people thanks very much for watching and see you next time